Oh, hey! <laughs> are you guys here for the tour? Gatsby, are you gonna give us a tour of everything that you own? You are? Okay, well then, go ahead, go! Gatsby, go! go. Look how many toys you have! This is ridiculous! Yeah. So those are Gatsby's toys. Um, they were all sent from our wonderful, wonderful fans. This is the basket for Gatsby's toys. He has too many toys. There's not enough room. We separated Gatsby's toys into different piles here. The pile of Gatsby's animal toys. Cause I love you, baby. I can let you go. <laughs> wow, look at all these animals. Gatsby's collection of donuts! As we know, he has like 47 or 48 donuts. These were all sent by everybody. We have Gatsby's food toy collection. Look at all these foods. Dogritos, Gatsby's ball collection, including all his favorite spiky balls. How many do you have, Gatsby? Gatsby's puzzle toy collection. We have all the different puzzles over here. Kongs, treat dispensers, and everything else that I couldn't think of, which includes like ropes. Gatsby loves ropes, by the way, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, are we showing off beds now? Well, Gatsby has a lot of beds, and he doesn't sleep in too many of them. So this one Gatsby likes to use to elevate himself and watch me. <laughs> oh, I guess we're going to the next bed. Oh, over here is Gatsby's dog sofa. This one's an orthopedic one. He has so many blankets. These were all sent in from all of our fans. Gatsby, what do you think? Ta-da! <laughs> Oh, by the way, we are not sponsored by any of these brands. I'm just telling you guys what we have in our apartment. Let's continue on. Yes, he wants to show you his cozy cave bed over here. Purple dog bed. It's from the Purple Mattress Company. By the way, this is Gatsby's bathroom. He has his bed. This is also Gatsby's bathtub over here. Full on long shower head here. And we have one more bed over here in the office. This is the main bed that Gatsby sleeps in out of all the beds. <laughs> that is all the beds that Gatsby has. Gatsby, what are we gonna be showing next? What's next on the list? This is Gatsby's director's chair right here. His YouTube play button. He's, I think, one of the only Corgis to have a YouTube play button for his own channel, Great Gatsby Corgi. Notice how I have a YouTube play button, but Mine is like significantly smaller than Gatsby's. So all of the artwork of Gatsby in the apartment is by all of our fans. <laughs> we have such incredible artists that watch our videos. Gatsby, what do you think of this one by Tyler with all the donuts? In Gatsby's bathroom, a watercolor and pencil artwork. There's another one over here in my bathroom. Check it out. We have a tissue paper artwork right over here. Gatsby, that's you. And in the office, we of course have Gatsby's calendar. Oh. Another artwork here, Gatsby the Corgi. Well, we're over here. We might as well show off Gatsby's food and water dish. This is Gatsby's food that he's eating right now. Nature's blend. It is a raw dog food. We top it with this, the one, a dog supplement. If you guys remember, Gatsby used to get a lot of really bad allergies from the grass and everything. He would get like really red skin. So I started giving it to him and sure enough, he doesn't have, like he's not itching and like um, licking off all his fur anymore, which is really good. We sprinkle it over Gatsby's rehydrated food and I have some boiled chicken inside as well. Whenever I feed Gatsby his food, I always like present it to him like this. Gatsby's dinner! Ta-da! Is that it? Is that all we wanted to show everyone? Everything that we have over here is all from all of our wonderful fans. We want to thank you guys so much. You guys are so wonderful. Look at this. Gatsby's one happy corgi. Thank you, Gatsby, for showing everybody all the, everything that you own. Is it time for us to start the vlog? Get
everybody I wanted to give you an update on all of the merchandise that we've been working on I got four out of the five designs in and I'm just waiting on the fifth one along with some other things so this time around I decided to come up with my own tie-dye patterns Ta-da! Corgi on fleek this is the logo that I've been working on it looks incredible. We have a blue crystal tie-dye wash. We also have some custom tags here. We have this one over here, which I really like. It's like a black and cream spiral design. It's really crazy. I tried testing the spiral coming out of the dog, but it just doesn't look as good. And then I have this one over here, which is a rainbow spiral tie-dye shirt. They tie-dye the black, and then they have to fill in the colors with everything afterwards. I also have one more tie-dye design coming up. I still haven't received it yet. This one is more of like a splotchy tie-dye with like blue and green. In the comments below, please let me know which tie-dye pattern you like the most. Which t-shirt are you most excited for? Because these are all hand-dyed locally, the dye pattern on every single one will be different. And on top of that, we have, of course, more merchandise to share with you. One of the things that is gonna be restocked is the Japanese Sun shirts. Those have been sold out for months and we're also introducing some new colors as well. And if you like this new design that I have, I have the sticker version as well. I'm also gonna be releasing a new keychain, Gatsby Run with the kites so you can add that to your corgi keychain collection and the final thing in this merchandise drop I've been working on totally new magnets here are the magnets check them out they look so beautiful as you can see they're all food themed they're very high quality beautiful magnets. they turned out really great I'm super happy with them you can get all this merchandise along with everything else at corgionfleek.com and of course people who are subscribed to our free newsletter will get the notification first. I hope you guys enjoy them and stay tuned for the release! <laughs> Anyway, right now I am headed over to the gym. I'm gonna hit some back with my friend from high school. We are gonna hit a back workout. So, see you guys at the gym. Okay, I'm here with my buddy Brett here. We went to school together in Hawaii. We are going now to grab Food, our post-workout meal. It's like Hawaiian style stuff. <laughs> yeah. Look at his shirt. <laughs> he has a corgi too, by the way. A little Hercules. Yes. Look at the salmon I got with rice. That looks good. What'd you get? Oh, I got some fish tacos with some grilled salmon. And some fries. Of course, yeah, some french fries. This is like two bites of my Ah, gotta try it out. <laughs> A oh, big chunk of avocado. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Are you full? <laughs> With your two tacos? <laughs> nice to eat food that wasn't cooked by me. <laughs> we got our food in. We gotta continue on with the day. Sean is here again. We are gonna be doing some movie Pictionary. We used to do this a lot in the past. Yep, let's go. Let's go. Some type of cat? Cat? What? Oh, uh, Alice in Wonderland? Yes, you got it. That was like Cheshire Yay! Cat. That was easy. What? What are they doing? They're battling Star Wars? Yes. <laughs> What? How is that Star Wars? Luke, I'm your father. No! Oh my god! Dirty dancing. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Mamma Mia. Uh, disco or something. Uh, gosh. Austin Powers. <laughs> Single hair? Um, they have a kid. What? Incredible. Yes, you got oh. it. You got it. You got right it. Right into this. Abraham Lincoln. National treasure. Oh, it's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate yeah. Factory. Or Charlie <laughs> and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the blueberry girl. Yes. I think we did a really good job, right? I think, I think, I think you guys should give us a thumbs up just for that. Thanks, Sean, for helping us film Gatsby's tour. You can check out Sean's channel too, Sean's Secrets. We're gonna go and grab um, Shake Shack again because why not? Oh my gosh, look at this. We got everything. So I got strawberry salted limeade. That sounds really good. I got the fried drink. You got the fried shake. shake from Shake Shack that has like strawberry mango, what? Passion fruit? Something like so, that. Something like that. Was it good? Tastes like strawberry. It just tastes like strawberry lemonade. I don't taste the salt. We were just discussing about fries and um, they said that Shake Shack fries are one of the better fries. They are, look at them. These zigzag ones usually like are like cafeteria fries are, are soggy, but these are actually really, really crispy. And as you guys know, I like crispy things like waffles. So good. Oh yeah, and people in the comments said that you're, you're, the way that you eat is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Burger was way better than chicken. Yes. I don't think I'll get this ever again. It wasn't that good. The, this one was pretty good. Yeah. It just tasted like strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, Sean. Yeah. Okay, it's time for me to play another ukulele song. In the comments below, can you figure out what song I'm playing and by what artist? This one might be a little bit hard. It is dinner time now. I thought today we would just make stuff that I have inside of the refrigerator. <laughs> I have some pasta, I have garlic, and I have over here the last of the chicken breast, which is gonna go bad yesterday. <laughs> it should be okay. It's probably good to start off by trying to get some water to boil. That always takes forever. I'm still not that hungry. <laughs> I had the Shake Shack burger kind of recently. Put the plastic wrap over. So the chicken is all nice and flat, and now we're just gonna season it. I'm just gonna do it in the air fryer because that's a lot faster. We got this brush from one of our viewers. I'm just gonna use this. This already has salt, pepper, and garlic powder in it. With a little bit of onion powder. And the secret that always makes everything better is paprika. This one was sent to us too, smoked paprika. You just put a little bit over the chicken. Okay, stuck it inside. I don't know how much to put that one in for. 380 for, um, I'm gonna start with 12 minutes. In the meantime, let's get started on making the sauce, which is gonna just be garlic and butter and olive oil. It'll add some color. It's been six minutes, it's flipping over. It's boiling, we'll salt the water. This should be hot enough. So we're gonna add some olive oil. We wanna do the butter last. The chicken is done. 
To the sauce. Go. That'll help thicken the sauce. To be honest, I don't even know what I'm doing. Sprinkle that. It looks so beautiful. So simple. I'm just gonna be honest. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like made it up on the spot. I think this is a real thing, right? I don't really have any vegetables in here, so I am gonna be lazy and I'm just gonna eat sauerkraut. <laughs> I am interested to see how I did. Mmm! It's just really simple garlicky noodles. <laughs> I like it, chicken. The paprika definitely is like the thing that makes it really good. It's really simple tasting, but it's good. I'd give myself about a seven and a half to an eight for this. If you don't like garlic, you will not like this. Otherwise, mm. Okay. Well, are you exhausted, Gatsby, from giving your tour today? <laughs> I want to thank everyone so much for so much support that you guys show Gatsby and me all the time. And if you could please, right now, click the like button on the video. I actually heard that it does affect a lot. Um, other than that though, our merchandise, like these new tie-dye t-shirts, will be available at corgionfleek.com. So excited for you guys to see it. And we are gonna head to bed and we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. Do it again. Oh yeah, I like it when you roll over. Mango, what are you doing? Um, homework? Who's that? Is that Gatsby? No, it's a sweet potato. What kind of sweet potatoes have two eyes and a mouth? A magical sweet potato? That's it. I'm calling Ryan. Steve, wait! Hey Steve, what's up? Ryan, you're not gonna want to hear this, but Gatsby was showing his belly to Mango. Huh? Gatsby, is that true? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Thanks. No ice cream for a week. I already got my sweet stuff. What was that? I mean, no, not my ice cream. <laughs> Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan! Today, I thought I would make Gatsby a dog-friendly chicken meatball bento box. What do you think? <laughs>